can I get a lifeline? You want a photo for him? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> mom, what do you say, Mom? The great white shark. The great white shark. <laughs> Yay, Mom. Yay, Mom. This family is on fire. Why do I not know this? <laughs> Welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest where we'll be unpacking some frequently asked questions and myths with the help of an expert. It could be one, could be two, could be ten, who knows, but I am Devin, your captain, bringing you the facts from the sea for you to see. Now, we all know that fish is pretty healthy and nutritious, but we want to know the details and put a rating on a scale, a fish scale. Vitamin C. For our complex human bodies to function at the best, we require a complex set of vitamins from a selection of power foods and fish is definitely one of them, right? So let's dive into vitamin C with our expert. Wait, hold up. Before we check in with the experts, let's ask the public some easy general knowledge questions around fish. Come, let's go. Can you name the three oceans? Bordering South Africa. Atlantic and Pacific, I think. Yeah. And the North Indian Ocean. Indian North Ocean? Indian South 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 South. South. North Indian Ocean is. No? No, it's just Pacific and Atlantic. Spot on, so confident. <laughs> you are so confident. You're making me feel good and then it's not. So no, we are <laughs> never do that. Three oceans. Three oceans. Indian Ocean. Pacific, um, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and Atlantic, right? What? What? Uh, ah. what? I need a final answer from you. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, we wait. discuss? Like, team yeah, quick, quick, you got five seconds. Okay, um. I don't know any other. Okay, so it's Indian, Pacific Ocean, and Atlantic Ocean. Sure, that's confident. The Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. Go, girl, go, girl, go. go. Is it wrong? Yeah. No. Oh, is it rat? No, it's a... Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Man, these answers. Nah, let's get back to studio. And the expert is in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a registered dietitian with 15 years experience in the private and health sector. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise and show some love for the one and only Hayley Samring. Do you see my, do you see my fish? Horn, do you see? I see your fish horn <laughs> blowing there. Welcome, welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Um, Thank I've got you. so many questions for you today to debunk and just to find out what is real, what just you know what's I have fact so and what's fishy. Oh you go, you go girl liquor. So the first question I have for you: which important vitamin does fish contain and what is this vitamin good for? Okay, so fish is actually full of a sea of vitamins. Oh. So it contains your B vitamins, it contains vitamin A, and it contains vitamin D. So vitamin B is important for the development of your nervous system. Vitamin A is very important for healthy eyes and healthy skin. And vitamin D helps in the development of your bones. So you can see fish is really packed with No, of course. Power. I mean, uh, there's, there's a few things that literally stand out for me. I deal with anxiety, so with the, the vitamin B, kind of like for my nervous system, that's very good. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. because B vitamins burn up when you're stressed or anxious. I'm already so this I'm sorry, I'm already learning. I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm intrigued. Ooh, we need some coffee, some cake here. <laughs> okay, now I want to know. Now, I did not know that fish contains fat. Like where on the... Like you think, when you think of... When I think of a fish, I think of a healthy... Like, it's a sportsman in, you know, a human sport. That's, that's a fish, kind of. Where, besides where the, fa the, the fat of the fish is, is fish fat good for us? Yes, so actually not all fats are created equal. We all know the bad fats, but fish is actually contains what we call the healthy or the good fats, especially in fatty fish, like tuna, mackerel, sardines. And the reason that fatty fish is so beneficial is it's high in essential omega-3 fatty acids. You cannot get them from your body. Your body doesn't make them, in other words. So you have to get them from your diet. And they're very important for both your heart health and your brain health. So firstly, for your heart health, the, those omega-3s that I'm talking about help to decrease triglycerides, which is a fat in the blood. 
They also help to prevent the buildup of plaque in your arteries and they also help to lower your blood pressure. So you can see they're very good for your heart. Not only are they good for your heart health, but they're good for brain health too. And those omega-3s help with brain growth and development. Could you tell me, is it true or is it fishy with cholesterol levels? Should, it, should, should we eat a fish? Does it help with, with cholesterol? So that's a good question. And actually the answer to that is it's fishy. Because people with high cholesterol should actually eat fish because of the health heart health benefits of the fish. The only thing to be aware of with high cholesterol is your food preparation method. So instead of frying the fish, you would choose healthy food preparation methods such as grilling and baking. And what about the heart? Is, it, is fish good for your heart? Fish is one of the healthiest foods for your heart. And this is because it contains all those omega-3 healthy fats which I was talking about. Sea Harvest is endorsed by our Heartmark endorsement logo. It takes the guesswork out of choosing healthier options for your heart. And you can look for it on the packaging of food labels. And this is not really a diet, it's just a healthier way to choose the best options for you and your family. And it's also part of our Heart and Stroke Foundation's efforts to reduce the premature deaths from heart disease and stroke. In terms of dieting, if I would like to lose weight, is it, is it a good thing? Would you recommend that? The Heart and Stroke Foundation recommends, as part of a healthy, balanced diet, including fish at least two times in a week. Wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. And, mentioned, and seeing that you mentioned stroke, um, can fish assist in minimizing the risk of having a stroke? Yes, so because I mentioned those omega-3s again, increasing your consumption of fish, you can decrease your risk of stroke. Fish is also very high in protein, and instead of having high fat, artery-clogging bad fats in red meat, you can place this with your healthy, more healthy option of fish. I am learning today. The expert is in the building. With over 15 years experience, wow, Haley. You know what they say, a fish a day keeps the cardiologist away. Wow, how crazy is that? I'm eating fish every day from now onwards. Haley Simmering, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you on the show today with Sea Harvest. Likewise, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and your listeners today. Now we know that one of the best sources of vitamins do indeed come from the sea. It's crispy, delicious, healthy, right? Of course, it's definitely healthy. Which benefits of eating fish are your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. For more fact or fishy videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. But before you go, it's time for Little Did You Know. Did you know that 112 million kilograms of seafood is consumed in South Africa each year, of which 50% is locally caught and 70% being sardines and hake? Wow, we've got a lot of fish fans out there. So stay tuned for the release of the new fact or fishy video. In the meantime, are you ready for some fish and tips? I said tips, huh? You, uh, not, not chips, man, tips. Peace and tips.